Honestly, it begins with my wife Carolyn and I raising our son from age four on the films of the Japanese master Hayao Miyazaki. As we watched the hand-drawn magic of Ponyo and My Neighbor Totoro over and over, as you do with a four-year-old, and then graduated through all his films to the more challenging, mature story of Spirited Away, I fell in love with the pure majesty of Miyazaki-san's vision. When the opportunity came up to present the international premiere of what may be his final film, we didn't have to ask me twice. I'm a fan. And you know what? I'm not alone. I want to bring out one of Miyazaki-san's most passionate fans, a legend of a filmmaker in his own right, and the maker of the only Best Picture Oscar winner that was shot right here in Toronto. Please join me in welcoming Guillermo del Toro. <laughs> movie, so here I am. <laughs> he knows what makes my fat butt move. <laughs> here I am. And why, you know, I think Toronto, Canada loves animation. Toronto loves animation. Uh, the ties with animation in this city and this country are deep, strong, and um, full of love. Uh, G Kids, who distributes the film, loves animation. And, and so do I. And we all believe something we've been repeating over and over again, until they listen to us, animation is film. And tonight's, uh, tonight's film goes beyond that. Animation is art. We are privileged enough to be living in a time where Mozart is composing symphonies, when uh, Van Gogh is painting paintings, uh, because Miyazaki-san is a master of that stature. And we are so lucky to be here uh, it says, you know, it is said that it will be his last film. It really is a matter of celebrating everything he's done so far. He's changed the medium that he uh, started in, revolutionized it, proved over and over again that is a tremendous work of art. I remember uh, an opening, opening passage of James Baldwin where he is talking about uh, seeing the back of John Crawford moving in that passage of a train, and how beautiful and how hypnotizing that movement is. And then I think of animation, and I think animation doesn't capture that movement, has to create it. If a blade of grass moves, or a drop of rain hits a rock, it is created, it never happened. And the rhythm and the, flu and the fluidity, the symphonic nature of animation makes it, in my estimation, one of the highest forms of cinema and one of the ones that comes the closest to coming from the heart and making complete portraiture of its great authors. Miyazaki is no exception. It may be, in my estimation, the greatest director of animation ever. And he has made his films uh, as full of paradox and questions as he is. These are not easy films, but they are films that, are, that portray him so intimately that you feel that you are having a conversation with him. And they are paradoxical because he understands that beauty cannot exist without horror, and uh, delicacy uh, cannot exist without brutality. And he makes amalgams of these things and shows life on the screen in a beautiful way. He repeats motifs over and over again, you know, flying, uh, hope, uh, despair, the power of innocence, the grace of innocence, and uh, each of his parables, because they become parables, are full of uh, belief in humanity and full of heartache for humanity. I believe the film we will watch tonight will be no exception. But I think that uh, the opportunity to see it, and I know we are saying it for the first time outside Japan, this is the first audience to watch this film outside Japan. This is the world goddamn premiere. <laughs> 